With the increased activity of cyber criminals affecting many businesses, industry experts at this year's Golf Information Security Expo and Conference have said that the ability to recognise and respond to attacks has become more imperative than ever. Cyber security and the negative implica implications of such attacks has been a key area of focus throughout the three-day event, which is being held under the Future Technology Week. Over 1,000 professionals from the IT industry are expected to attend the event, which also features the Big Data Show as well as Golf Enterprise and Mobility Exhibition. According to the Cisco Annual Security Report for 2016, cyber crimes are estimated to cost businesses 2.1 trillion US dollars globally. Therefore, companies should look towards threat-centric security measures. Furthermore, the report also highlighted that around 71% of executives feel that cybersecurity threats are also hindering their digital ambitions. Commenting on the industry trends, a representative from Cisco stated that cooperation and governments should focus on accelerating their digital journey while ensuring security measures across all areas. Meanwhile, senior officials from British Telecom also stated that attackers have become resilient and increasingly sophisticated and can pose a significant threat for governments, particularly for smart city ambitions. It was added that a comprehensive cybersecurity framework is required to remain proactive while also enhancing their situational awareness. One of the things, a part of IoT is that we see that by 2030 there'll be 500 billion connected devices and the industry average today for detecting an attack is around 100 to 200 man days between the attack getting in and when you detect it. Now as we start to have more systems connected, connected traffic lights, connected you know, programmable highways, we really don't see that this is something that we can trust our data or trust our life safety systems to. So in Cisco, we've now managed to get that down to around 17 and a half hours through taking a more holistic view of security. But again, as you said, you know, 17 and a half hours of an attacker having free range is really something as an industry we shouldn't accept. And again, that's why we really see a focus of taking an architectural approach and really making security a part of the entire conversation of your digitization strategy. So not looking at point products, but looking at how the system can work better together. So this is things like open APIs, being able to easily integrate different platforms. So you can choose best of breed, but still get the best of the di different technology vendors. So we really see that by making a security architecture end to end, by building it a part of your business process and using things like open APIs will really drive a much quicker detection time and ultimately better cybersecurity overall. The, the volume of data now being generated is so huge that the way in which you aggregate that data and make sure then you, you commensurately protect it, given the volume of data, uh, is one really big challenge. So as it comes together, making sure that you really understand how you can protect those large data sets. The second thing really is understanding, you know, clearly there's going to be elements of data that are probably more sensitive than others. And so making sure that you again put the re requisite and proportionate control around the most sensitive data and making sure also that all data is kept secure but the really sensitive data is kept even more secure. And the final thing that I find with a lot of organizations is the data and having access to data is in itself really important so that those services that citizens can use uh, are actually there and available all the time and therefore making sure the data is secure but accessible at the same time, again that's another real challenge that, that many are facing. The event showcased a number of innovations related to smart technology for areas such as construction, school transportation and government data analysis. Among the latest technology on showcase was Panasonic's digital data archiver, which according to company representatives is targeted towards companies that prefer to store their data at their own premises. At a cost of 64,000 US dollars, companies are provided an option to store up to 91 terabytes of data in the disk library system, which was launched to cater for firms who remain concerned with data security risks. The, the data of, of how you read and write on this our archiving solution is also uh, not done in a very you know primitive way. It's done when you when you when you want to, when you want to write data it's not written on disk one disk two disk three and and, and the same cartridge rather than it's done on you know a horizontal type of uh, i would say parity type of uh, write and read information so once someone wants to you know uh, uh, hack the uh, your system or the archiving system it's he's gonna have hard time you know uh, locating and matching each and every 
data, data of a size or you know, the, the file. More than 250 exhibitors have already confirmed their participation for the 16th airport show this year, being held in Dubai from May 9th till the 11th. According to the Emirates news agency WAM, the show has also seen remarkable growth in exhibition space, number of hosted buyers and pre-registered participants. Read Exhibitions Middle East, the event organisers, stated that the show will occupy an exhibition space of 15,000 square metres at the News Bill Hall in Dubai International Convention and Exhibition Centre, with larger participation expected by country pavilions from Germany, France, UK, Italy, Switzerland, the USA and China. They also added that the three-day show expects more than 7,000 visitors. According to experts quoted in the report, Dubai's aviation sector contributes more than 27% to Dubai's GDP and accounts for over 21% share in employment. According to Boeing, airlines in the Middle East will require 3,180 new aeroplanes over the next 20 years, valued at an estimated $730 billion. While approximately 30% of that demand, 960 aeroplanes, will replace today's fleet and 70% of the demand is expected to be driven by the rapid fleet expansion in the region. And Dubai World Trade Center on Monday posted a 12% year-on-year increase in traffic to deliver 2.74 million delegates and attendees in 2015, coupled with a 17% increase in exhibiting companies According to DWTC, this has reinforced its regional dominance within the global meetings, incentives, conferences and exhibition sec sector. Last year saw 396 trade events being hosted at the Dubai International Convention and Exhibition Centre venue, including 104 mega events, delivering a total of 2.74 million MICE delegates and attendees with just over 53,000 exhibitors from 185 countries to Dubai. With nearly 41% international participation across its portfolio of events, DWTC contributed just over 1 million global visitors to Dubai's business tourism figures. And Dubai-based shopping mall operator Majid Al Fatame has announced that its net profit from continuing operations increased by 29% to 3.3 billion dirhams during 2015. The retail giant said in a statement that overall group revenue rose by 8% year-on-year to 27.3 billion dirhams for the full year of 2015. MAF's net profit attributable to equity holders rose last year to 3.28 billion dirhams from 2.5 billion dirhams a year earlier and earnings increased 7% to 3.8 billion dirhams last year from 3.6 billion in 2014. Revenue grew 8% to 27.3 billion dirhams from 25 billion dirhams. The net gain on the valuation of MAF's investment properties amounted to 1.12 billion dirhams last year versus 767 million dirhams in 2014. The year saw the successful opening of the new Mall of the Emirates 36,000 square metre expansion and completion of city centre Muscat's 10,000 square metre redevelopment, while the company's Vox Cinemas unit was the fastest growing cinema chain, adding 58 new screens in the region. The company also added nine new Carrefour hypermarkets, 11 new supermarkets and five convenience stores, stores rather, while its city centre network expanded to 13 malls in the region.